Hi everybody, welcome to another video of, uh, well, not vintage radio and TV stuff in this case. I'm going to go off the uh, beaten path just a little bit. Uh, and no, this is not Tupperware. This is a 45 RPM record holder made in Wisconsin probably back in the 60s. Uh, it's called Tote 45. And it's a plastic 45 RPM record holder, like I said. Holds up to 60 records. I'm going to flip it over here so you can see the top of it. And it shows you the brand there, Tote 45, made by Hardzell Custom Products of Turtle Lake, Wisconsin. A little town uh, in Wisconsin, obviously, uh, maybe about an hour and a half, two hours from the Twin Cities. And in this Tote 45 are as you can see on the side there, party records from somebody who uh, liked to party back in the uh, probably the 60s, early 60s, I'm guessing, maybe, maybe even a little earlier than that. Although there's a mix of uh, some newer records, maybe from the 70s in here, too. Uh, I got this whole thing for eight bucks at a local antique shop here in town. So I'm going to flip it back up and... Uh, Zoom out of touch here, and what you do is you just hold it down, you flip it like that, and it lifts up. If you look inside, there's a little thing that basically connects to the top of the spindle here. If I can flip it without losing records, and then that just attaches in there and kind of locks into place. Very simple type uh, setup there for the old tote 45 uh, like I said there's about 60 records in here I, I have looked through them and they're mostly big band records some novelty records some comedy records um, and, and it's all perfect for a party basically so you would just put your your stacks of wax on the old record player and let her rip uh, I have picked 10 discs from this selection I'm going to be uh, showing you those in detail, and we'll even hear a little bit from each of the uh, each of the singles. So stand by, Al's uh, stacks of wax is on the way. The top ten coming up at you in just a minute. Let's begin with number ten. Don Charles presenting the Singing Dogs. Who can forget this one? It's the song we hear every holiday season, and we hate it. <laughs> Jingle bells. Uh, but if you don't like this song, you'll really not like this one. It's Don Charles presenting the Singing Dogs, directed by Carl Weissman, and the dog's rendition of Oh Susanna. Here's number nine on Door Records, Hudson and Landry from back in the early 70s. These guys met at a radio station in Los Angeles and did the morning show, and they did all these different skits to introduce the records and things, and then that caught on. They did uh, a few albums for Door Records. On the flip side of this is Ajax Liquor Store, the probably most famous one, which actually won him a Grammy Award. Uh, on the flip... It's the hippie and the redneck from Hudson and Landry. Oh, I'm a happy hippie, taking a little trippy, driving on... All right, little... boy, pull over, oh, boy. You're man. in big trouble, boy. I got you clocked doing better than 80 miles an hour, boy. Man, that's impossible. I haven't even been out an hour. Don't you give me none of that blabby mouth, long-haired hippie, Yankee sass, boy. Oh, Let me see your driver's license. Well, whatever's right. There you are, there. Don't play Tom Fool with me, boy. That ain't no driver's license. Oh, that's the menu from Alice's Restaurant. Well, what about that real driver's license here? You have been in trouble the law, boy. Well, I was busted once. You was what? I was busted. 
I was incarcerated. Don't blame none of that Yankee I was travel. arrested, man. Well, all right, now we're getting somewhere. But it was a bum rap. It was, yeah, they all say that, bum rap. What, what, what was it, boy? Some cat from the CIA planted some grass on me, man. I didn't even know I was carrying it around. Now we're getting somewhere. How much did they find on you, boy? 300 pounds. And on and on it went. Number eight. Candy Records from Chicago. And a guy named Don Johnson. Not, no, not that Don Johnson, the other Don Johnson. The organ player, Don Johnson. Organ with a beat, in fact. Let's uh, listen to that classic song, Five Foot Two, from Don Johnson and his organ with a beat. I only wish I could play more of this music for you, but I think YouTube would prohibit me from doing that. Uh, anyway, what are we at? Number seven? Yeah. Red Fox. Who can forget Red Fox from Sanford and Son and such? But he also did a lot of really, really raunchy records back in the, uh, the 60s in particular. Uh, this is a record company out of, out of Los Angeles, Doto or Dotone Records. And uh, he, they put a bunch of 45s out. Here's a sample of 118 Ways to Make Love from Red Fox. There was a guy in a hotel. He was checked up laying in his bed, and he heard this commotion in the next room. And he, all he could hear from this room, he said, Now, you sit on it and tuck it in the side and press and put your finger in it and try to get that in there. Put your finger in it. No, put your hand in there and push it. He said, Go ahead. Sit on it hard. Squash it. Cat, he couldn't stand no longer. He went around in the front door and peeped through the transom, and they were trying to close the suitcase. <laughs> and he got even raunchier from there, I'm sure. Ah, yes, rest in peace, Red. Number six, B and J Records. This is a guy named Johnny White, who ran a place called Little Nashville Club in North Hollywood, California, for years, for decades. And this is one of his little comedy routines, which uh, I'm sure is somewhat raunchy as well. Uh, it's called My Tattooed Wife. Hi, everybody. I'm John Quiet, and welcome to our show. I'd like to tell you about an incident in my life known as My Tattooed Wife. She's got all the states tattooed on her body. As a matter of fact, when we go to sleep at night, I don't know if I've gone to bed with my wife or a road map. Of course, I've traveled a lot of miles and made quite a few trips. <laughs> Here's an example. On her toes is the state of Iowa, and that's where the tall corn grows. <laughs> On her feet is Alaska, which is appropriate because she's got to have the coldest feet in town. <laughs> Most of Dixie is between the navel and the knees, and it's in those cotton fields where I just long to be. And coming in at number five, if you thought Don Johnson's organ was exciting to listen to, wait till you hear this. This is Lenny D on the uh, Wurlitzer, Hammond, I have no idea. Let's see how he handles that somewhat serious Johnny Cash song called Folsom Prison Blues. We're getting close to the top song here. Number four on King Records, a guy named Boyd Bennett, who, um, well, was in the same era as, uh, you know, some of the top rock and roll guys back in the day in the 50s. Boyd Bennett and his Rockets, not the Rockets, it was his Rockets, a very possessive guy, that Boyd Bennett. Anyway, here's the incredibly amazing combination of banjo and rock and roll.
our number 345 on Jubilee Records, the classic Rusty Warren tune. Remember Rusty Warren from back in the, uh, well, 60s and 70s? Her name was Eileen Goldman. She had a great uh, Las Vegas act, had an act there in a lounge for years, kind of revolutionized uh, women's comedy. Uh, she did uh, a sexual show based on the women's perspective, and this is kind of an interesting collection of, of her songs, including one of my personal Rusty Warren favorites, Bounce Your Boobies. And bounce your boobies, get into the swing. Bounce your boobies, the swing is everything. It makes no difference if they're big or small. As long as you woo, give them your all. Coming in at number two on the ever popular Outhouse Records label, it's Tom Cat and the Fish Cakes. Not a lot of Tom Cat and the Fish Cakes uh, records out here, by the way, in, in the universe. Um, and this is one that is kind of hard to find, apparently. It's, it's called Freddy's Rod. Let's listen to a portion of this, which is not for broadcast, by the way, and you'll see why in a couple seconds. Says it's more fun. Freddy knows how the girls feel. When they see his rod, they all reel. His fabulous rod measures over a yard, and a thing like that you can't conceal. Under the moon, he hollers harpoon. That means Freddy's at it again. In some little nook, he is dropping his hook. Playing the old fishing game When Freddy goes fishing at night He carries a great big flashlight I know it sounds odd It's tied onto his rod The girls know his sinker by sight When Freddy was only a boy His pole was his only toy his dad said you can bend it or even extend it, but once it gets broken, you never can mend it. And last but not least, this is probably the coolest record of the bunch. It's uh, an old, old Essex Records version of Rocket 88 from Bill Haley with Haley's Comets before they changed it to Bill Haley and the Comets. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's our little diversion from uh, vintage TV and radio stuff for this time around. The old Tote 45 record collection in the top 10. If you have any comments, leave them below. Of course, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll have some... Some real vintage TV and radio stuff next time. Thanks for watching.